Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. And this time I'm gonna be showing you guys how to gold plate your own jewelry. Um, now, there's a number of reasons why you might wanna gold plate your own, own jewelry. And I mean, it could be that you have a plated item that you got damaged, it's the plating starting to come off and you just wanna touch it back up. Or you could have a piece of jewelry, say um, sterling silver, that um, you don't wear it anymore or you're just not really feeling it anymore and you want to make it gold. Um, so yeah, whatever reason it is that you, you want to gold plate your jewelry, you might just want to do it for fun. I'm going to show you guys how to do it um, really cheap, cost effective and um, it doesn't take long at all. Um, I do want to say though, I've not done this before, so I'll be doing it for the first time live on camera. Um, I have gold plated a piece before, but it was a small pendant, it was already plated, and um, all I was doing there was just touching up where I had um, damaged it and the plating had started to come up a little bit. So um, this is a first, so if it goes well, good job. If it doesn't, then um, yeah, we'll see. So um, yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing, um, you obviously need is a piece of jewelry you want to play. Here I've got a Byzantine link chain. Um, I don't really wear silver anymore and I spent a good amount of money on this a while ago. Um, you can see it's really detailed links. It's not the, your normal Byzantine link. It's 925 sterling silver. Um, I also want to say uh, when you're gold plating things, um, the base metal will affect how well the plate and if it's not sterling silver you're going to need to do some extra steps so i'll put a link in the description that tells you what you need to do if it's sterling silver um, you can do exactly what i'm doing and if this turns out well then good um, so yeah this is what i'll be gold plating um, i've already cleaned this but before you start you need to clean the jewelry so um I've got here some sterling silver cleaner. If you don't have that, just some soapy water will do. Um, so you wanna clean it completely, rinse this stuff off, or the soapy water if that's what you're using. Then you need a polishing cloth. Um, it doesn't have to be this brand, you can get them anywhere from any jeweler. Um, this one's actually from a hardware shop. Um, any polishing cloth you wanna clean, polish, and you're gonna need a couple of things. Gloves, because a gold plating solution is a really harsh chemical. You're gonna need a face mask. If you inhale it while it's plating the fumes, you're gonna cough, and some of them contain cyanide, so it's not something you wanna be inhaling. Goggles, um, eye protection, and a small beaker. Well, this is a little washing up thing that comes with, you know, you put your washing up soap in. Um, stainless steel screw if you have a solid piece of scrap gold not many people do but if you do use that it will work better um, all that happens is if you don't have it it's no problem or but it has to be stainless steel all that happens is that the stainless steel will come off into the solution which will cause it to change color and go a bit cloudy but it doesn't matter um, so if you don't have a solid piece of gold um, whether it's a nine carat ten carat whatever stainless steel screw um, you're gonna need some crocodile clips and I'm not sure if I already mentioned it but you need a battery um, now with the battery so this is what I'm going to use um, I am going through a um, an engineering degree so for me I could have bought a gold plating kit it would have cost me just under a hundred pounds just over a hundred pounds depends what you buy um, but I'm going through an engineering degree, so for me, any excuse to design anything, create anything, set up any kind of experiment, that's, um, I'm going to take that excuse. So I've gone to down the homemade route. So um, yeah, if you don't buy a gold plating kit, then this is what you need. Oh, and I've left the gold plating solution. I'll go grab that now. Here we go. One of the most important things you're going to need is the gold plate in the solution itself. This is an 18 karat gold solution. You can get them in pure gold. Um, it, it just depends. You can buy these online. Um, can be quite pricey. This is a very small bottle that came up at about £40, I think. Um, as I said, I'm new to this. I don't know how many items I'm going to be able to plate out of that, but we'll see. Um, so yeah this is all the stuff you need 
and um, let's get into the steps. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is heat your gold solution. Also, definitely make sure you've got your mask and goggles on. Heat your gold solution in the microwave for, that took about 15, 20 seconds, so it's warm. Um, you connect a piece of jewelry to the negative terminal of the battery and you connect the stainless steel screw or your piece of gold, whatever you're using, to the positive terminal of the battery. Like so. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, you need a water bath to rinse. So first thing is we're gonna submerse the item. As I said, I've not done this before, so we'll see. Then you tap that, see it's bubbling. That means the plating's happening. You leave it for 20, 30 seconds. As I said, I'm new to this. I don't know how long this is gonna take or what it's gonna turn out like. not evenly because it was scrunched up so we'll see let's try a different way okay guys so it's done and I've got it on it's plated with 18 karat gold and um, wasn't perfect um, there are some things I had to do that I'll just quickly talk you through now. So as you saw when I first did it, I just dipped the whole thing in. Now I think what was happening was as you as you dip the chain in, uh, let's see if I can demonstrate with this. So as you dip the chain in, it was like kind of creasing up on itself and laying on top of itself like that. Like how that cable is on top of itself. Now the bits that were touching each other, it wasn't being plated in between. So what I actually had to do was plate a little section at a time. So say, uh, hang on. Say this glass is full of gold plating solution. What I had to do was say, hold a little bit, plate that. 20 to 30 seconds at a time I did. Then I rotated. Now I did that, 20 to 30 seconds, again, 20 to 30 seconds, and I did that until the whole chain got done. And then um, what I noticed is as I was doing it, it wasn't looking gold, it was looking kind of black. So what's happening is the silver, the chemical reaction is actually causing the silver to tarnish and the silver's coming through. So um, I ignored it, I finished the plating, um, rinse it in the rinse water, and then I went under running water, rinsed it. Um, I created a little hook thing like this, it's just a bit of metal I had, you can use an old paper clip, a bit of string, whatever. Um, I hooked the necklace up onto this as many times as I needed, I hooked that onto the, into the oven, and I let it dry in the oven at between 50 and 80 degrees Celsius. Um, between 50 and 80 degrees Celsius for, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, just, just until it's dry. So that's what I did. And then when I took it out, as I said, it was all blackened. Um, so then what I did, <laughs> I got a cloth and I started trying to rub the tarnish away. So I'd rub in too hard and I actually broke the chain. I full on snapped the link. So um, yep, had to repair the chain myself, which it's on. So I guess I did a good job at that. And um, but what I found was best to remove the tarnish, don't rub too hard, so get a mild soap. Um, I was using palm olive, it's a mild bathing, shower soap, whatever you wanna call it. Um, put a little bit in some water. I've got a brush, a soft bristled toothbrush, any kind of, uh, any small little brush. And I just, I didn't submerse it in the soapy water, I dipped the brush in and I just went through the whole chain, just like that. I then rinsed it again and then I came back with a microfiber cloth, not this one, but whatever, with a microfiber cloth and I put it on a flat surface and just gently 
kind of wiped over it, wiped over it, wiped over it. And um, it's done. Now, I'll take it off in a second, show you guys up close. Okay, so that's what it looks like finished. So, what I was saying about the tarnish, if you look, see? There's some bits of tarnish there that needs to be polished off. And as you can see, the polished surface of the necklace coats better than the jaggedy links in between. But that's always gonna be the way. A polished surface will be better coated than anything that isn't. So I mean, that's what it looks like. And as I said, for me, um, this was a bit of an experiment. I never wore this chain anyway. Um, so even though it did cost me a bit of money, I hadn't worn it in, uh, I don't know, seven, eight years. Um, so wasn't that big a deal. I'm not unhappy with it. I would probably still wear it. I'd polish it up, get some more of that tarnish off. Um, it's a 18 karat gold um, coating and I personally don't think it's done. So I'm gonna do another layer um see if i can get it to come up a bit more. right guys this is a finished product i've given it a steam clean i've been wiping it with a um microfiber cloth and i've pretty much got rid of all the tarnish as, as, as i said before i think it would need another dip another coating um but that being said, I'm happy with it. I would wear it as it is. As a matter of fact, I have worn it. Um, yeah, I've just been out in it. Um, it's perfectly fine. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Um, got my finger in the shot there. Just want to point out these bits in, in the middle, in between the, the shiny parts of the link. When it was sterling silver, they were never they were never shiny, um, they're not a polished surface. It's what gives the chain its contrast. So it was also really hard to clean tarnish off them before. So I think that's probably gonna be tricky still, even though it's now gold plated. They'll probably be the first areas to tarnish, but as you can see, it's coated well. Um, I didn't use a pre-bought kit, just used stuff that's Pretty easy to buy, pretty inexpensive. The most expensive thing was the gold plate in solution. And um, I'm happy with the results. So I had a chain that I hadn't worn in literally years. And now I'll definitely be wearing it more often. But um, let me know what you guys think. Don't be scared to try this. I wouldn't try it for your first time with something you're precious about. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and uh, see you guys next time.